Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Kroger pan sliders. We have the cheeseburger and the cheese steak. There are six burgers, uh, cheese steaks, in each box. Uh, they were $7.99 per box, so $8 per box. And so we opened this one up just to see what they look like on the inside. And because I was thinking they would be in individually wrapped packages, like so you could, uh, if you only wanted two, you would only fix two. However, they're all in one pan, so you have to make them all at one time. Uh, now I'm assuming, you know, if you don't eat them all, you can go back the next night and heat them up in the microwave or something, but you do have to make them at one time. So it says uh, you uh, bake them in the oven at 400 degrees. You do not remove film. You place on a pan on oven rack for best results thaw overnight. So um, from thawed, you heat them for 30 minutes or until hot. From frozen, you heat them for 35 to 45 minutes and, and, or until hot. Uh, for best results, let product stand for one minute prior to eating. So what we did is we have had these in the refrigerator uh, for probably three hours. So we will um, we will bake these for 35 minutes and check on them. So uh, this is what um, let's see. One slider is 210 calories, and that's of the cheese steak. So yeah, I'm gonna put it on a cookie sheet just like this one. Were the directions the same for that? I'm gonna what look. Sure? I'm gonna look. Just to make sure. Yeah, just <laughs> to make sure. So the cheeseburger, it still is in one pan. And let's see. Uh, do not remove film. Yes, exactly the same. Uh, so 35 minutes. This is one slider is 280 calories. So these are 70 more calories uh, for the cheeseburger. So I'm going to put these in the oven for um, for how long? 35 minutes? 35, 40 minutes. 35, we'll 40 minutes and we'll be back. We left them in for 35 minutes and Kevin opened the ends with a um, oven mitt so that I wouldn't burn myself. Lots of steam. Yeah, there was lots of steam, so you just need to be careful because it's been in the oven, it's going to be hot. So, here's how they look. And I was thinking I could just maybe take a fork, but I might need a knife. Let's see, I have a knife right here. They smell uh, very good. Put one of these on um, each plate. Okay. And now I'll cut into this one. Put the cheese on that. Let's see. It smells peppers. Very cheesy looking. So this is how they look. Will you take the tops off? Yeah, I can, yeah, I can take the tops off. Let's see. Okay, so there's the cheese steak. Oh yeah, that's good. And there's the, what is it, a cheeseburger? cheeseburger. Yep, <laughs> so there you go. So do you want to try the uh, cheeseburger first? Yeah. Okay, the cheeseburger is a Angus beef patty and shredded cheddar cheese. The only thing I've noticed about it is the bread got very, very crunchy. Like, <laughs> but that's probably why they told you to leave it, the packaging on it, don't you think? So that it would be that way? Mm. It's got a good um, charcoal flavor, doesn't it? Like it sure it's does. actually been grilled on a grill. Mm -hmm. um, the flavors are excellent. I wish the bread was a little softer. I like the bread. I like the bread a lot, but I don't like squishy bread. So for me, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor of that though. Mm -hmm. I love really the flavor well. of the cheese and it does taste like you grilled it. Mm -hmm. It's very good. That's really nice. And um, don't take this as a negative, but the bun almost has like a greasy flavor uh, mm -hmm. to me. No, like which, a greasy. Fresh hamburger. Which I think is good. Yeah. Because, <laughs> um, you know, if you if you get a good burger from a cookout, 
then it is kind of greasy mm -hmm. and it's it just that adds to the experience that adds to the flavor of it I yeah, agree. it's very very good mm -hmm. i like that a lot okay no the cheese steak is it's a cheese blend it has mozzarella provolone parmesan and romano cheeses and it has a beef steak and peppers and onions and peppers and onions yeah so let's see I know this was a little softer. The bread. Mmm. That's nice. I mostly get the peppers and onions. But mine, I took the top off. Mine didn't have as much meat on it as yours did. Mm-hmm. I love the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. I've always liked a, a cheesesteak anyway, though. I like the flavor of the, the beef with the uh, pepper and onion. Mm -hmm. I just like that flavor mm, it's good. in general. It's, uh, it adds a lot to it. But I'm going to be honest, my favorite's the cheeseburger. Mine is too. It's, I think that just it because it has more meat, it has like a whole piece. It looks like when you open it, it looks like it's a, a sausage patty almost. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so it it the meat because it covers the entire bun and because the cheese is it's it's a stronger cheese i just think it has an overall better flavor i it think does. it's very good i think the where the where the cheeseburgers are very set meat patties mm -hmm. you know you're getting a patty on each one whereas the cheese steak tends to be a little more random it seems you know like mm -hmm. mine didn't have a lot of meat on them Tammy's had a lot more meat on them. I'm mm -hmm. sure if I looked in there, the middle ones probably have a ton of meat and little peppers and onions, you know, because it's more sporadic right. and random, whereas the cheeseburgers are, are a set amount. But I also like the flavor of the cheeseburger as well. I love that charbroiled flavor. If You know, $8 is, is a lot, and especially you're going to cook it one time. Really, I think the best cook is going to be the, or the best bake is going to be the first the time first you bake one. it. Right. You know, it's not going to be if you heat them up the next day. So for $8, if you can only buy one, I would get, get the cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. And if, if you ate two of these mm -hmm. and had some that, something else like chips or something yeah i think that'd be a good dinner yeah um, oh yeah so you so you're feeding three people for eight dollars plus chips is two two or three dollars right so for um what twelve dollars or so you're feeding a family of three i, I think that's i don't good. think that's bad at all yeah so i think they're definitely worth it and if you like uh cheesesteak try these out i think you'll like these too yes definitely so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching